Hi guys, welcome to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna demonstrate whether or not adding salt to candle wax will make the candle last longer. If you wanna see the results, keep on watching. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, like I mentioned on my live stream last Sunday, January 9th, uh, I, I saw a posting on one of the Facebook groups, somebody uh, saying that, uh, it, is it true that if you add salt to wax, it will make uh, the candle uh, last longer? So, you know what? That planted a seed in my mind. I decided, you know what? I'm going to test that to make sure that, uh, um, to see whether or not uh, it's true or not, okay? I have my doubts, but you know what, guys? I just want to do this test for you guys in there that are curious, say, because testing, we're all about testing in here, okay? So for this uh, demonstration, I'm gonna be uh, using kosher salt. This is like table salt that you buy in the supermarket. You know, regular salt. Uh, some people like to use uh, the pink Himalayan salt, but I'm gonna try this one. Okay, it's white. The wax is white. I didn't want to dis uh, disturb the color, just in case. So uh, I'm gonna be using for that these two beautiful jars from 1617.com. This is the Prostate. Uh, these are the, pros uh, the West Coast uh, Prostate uh, jars. Okay, this one is in white and this one is in pink peony. A peony pink, peony pink. Okay, so these two I'm gonna be using them. They all uh, they each hold eight ounces of, uh, of wax. So I'm gonna be using also. I'm gonna test for the first time Persephone. Yeah, this is a new scent by 1617.com. And uh, there's another one coming that is coming soon. Uh, as a matter of fact, by the end of this week, hopefully. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna give this one a try. This one has uh, as notes orange blossom, uh, bamboo, and uh, beechwood. It smells like pure spring, guys. It's, oh my God, it's so great for, for spring and summer. Uh, the orange blossom is divine. Uh, the beach food also, and the bamboo. Uh, this a combination is exquisite, okay? And this also, single wig. I'm gonna be using uh, two CDN number, number six. The, the website says you can use four, five, or six. I decided to go uh, uh, with the six. Should I try number five? I'm gonna go with number six. Okay, so I'm gonna use tool number six. CDN, also from 1617.com. This is the, in here. Okay, so let me get some alcohol and let me just clean the vessels. Okay, let's start. Okay, like I always say guys, you have to clean up the, the vessels first. So with alcohol. Alcohol in here. Spray it down because you never know what, you know, if you have any uh, anything from any dust or anything from the manufacturing process, any kind of chemicals. Uh, you want to make sure that the wick adheres to the bottom of the, of the, of the vessels. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this test tonight, today. Uh, I'm going to do a, a burn test tomorrow. And I'm going to do it every day, you know. So I'm not, I'm not gonna be testing for HD until uh, Saturday, okay? So today is Monday, so Saturday I'm gonna be the official uh, HD test because it's not fair for me to uh, test for HD when the candle hasn't even been cured for 24 hours. To make sure that both candles are, are burning accurately, you know? So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna wait each candle after I'm done. So before I light them up, I'm gonna wait each candle and I'm just gonna leave them burning like a couple for a couple of hours and see how they react. It's all about science, guys. This is a plastic straw. Okay, so I'm gonna place the plastic straw in here. In the meantime, I'm gonna take the the wick kit from 1617. This is for the single wick. I'm gonna put it, place it in the bottom. Look how beautiful that is, and that's gonna give you perfect placement. So then you get your. Okay, I made a mistake. And you see guys, my channel, you see reality, and the reality is that I, I moved it. Okay. So. No big deal, still good. You should do this with, with the thing uh, facing down. 
Okay, so let's do this again. So I have this displacement in there. I'm just gonna go down, press it at the bottom and let go. And then you just pull this out. It's perfect. And then just take this something and then just press it down. You wanna make sure that everything is pressed down all the way to the bottom, guys. Okay, so center. And number one is done. Remember the white one is gonna be the one with salt. And then you just take the place, the place in here and just put it on top in here. Okay, can number one is ready. Yes! I think I, I like to take something and, and just really pr uh, press on it to make sure that you have full contact. You press really well, guys, because you, you're not going to have any other chances to have uh, to secure the wig until now. Now it's going to be the only one, the only choice you have. So. You have to do this to make sure that it's very well secure. And then you just take the other place. And then just... Okay, and he's going nowhere. Look, this is number two. Yes! Guys, I love the picture in here. Don't you think the light is beautiful? Everything is beautiful? Uh, in the meantime, let me just start the, uh, the wax to start to melt. The Presto Pot. Okay guys, so I got the numbers. So for this candle, in order for me to get eight ounces total, I'm going to need for soy bliss wax, 7.27 ounces of wax. And for the fragrance oil for 10%, 0.73 ounces, okay, of Persephone. Yeah, Persephone. And I should make eight ounces, yes, okay. So let me see the wax is melting, melting. And again, guys, it's gonna be a two-part uh, video because I'm gonna be running a test tomorrow, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you uh, how uh, it doesn't make any difference, uh, you know, on, on weight. Okay, so let me just start measuring the oils. We we know that for each candle we need the same amount, which is 0 0.73. Okay, let me get a pipette. I'll be right back. Okay, and guys. For the purpose of this test, I'm gonna be adding like a quarter of a teaspoon of salt to the candle. I'm not gonna add any more. You know, I just don't know how much in total because I didn't see, they didn't show uh, how much salt. Uh, so I'm gonna start with a quarter of a teaspoon. Uh, the wax is gonna heat up to 230 degrees. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the, the candles in here, throw them. I'm gonna do the first one without the salt. I'm gonna pour it and then I'm gonna make the other one and then I add the salt and then I stir, okay? It's better to do it this way, guys, even though it takes you longer, uh, but you have more control, especially if you're mixing two different uh, scents. It's very important that you have very, very accurate when you, when you do your mixings. Okay, we got 7.2. I'm gonna add the fragrance oil and I'm gonna mix. Okay. okay, so this one is the, the pink one. Remember, no salt. And this is, the, uh, this is the perfect amount, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same one. I'm gonna use the same spatula because the other one's gonna have the salt. Okay, so let's do the other one. 10.2, okay, guys. So it's now or never. Okay, I decided to Instead of, a, instead of adding a quarter of a teaspoon, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon, which means two of these, okay? And let's see how it does. One, and two. Yes! And let's see what happens. I saw some of the posts that saying that the wax doesn't melt, and the salt doesn't melt in wax. Let's see. The temperature right now is 222, perfect. So let me see. Is the wax melting? Is the salt melting in the wax? Okay, I don't see the salt. This I don't see the salt melting. Dissolving yet? Okay, I'm just gonna keep it moving. 
I mean, it's very hot, so I shouldn't. Again, guys, we are testing. I see the salt. Maybe if I could bring you guys down here. Can you see the salt at the bottom of this? You see the salt? It's not the salt is not mixing with the wax. So I'm I'm showing you this, okay? And the temperature is. Two ten. Okay, so I'm gonna add the fragrance oil. I keep turning and I think with the fragrance oil, I see that it's, it looks more uh, mixed. I think the the the, uh, the chemical from the on the fragrance oil made it made it uh, to bind better, but I, I still feel the graininess. I still see the graininess of the salt. Okay, it's 192. I need to pour it right away. I'm gonna keep going through with the with the test, guys, because I want to show you. Who knows? Bring you guys closer so you can see. Can you see the salt at the bottom? You can see it. You see? You see the salt. Okay guys, so let me just go clean up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we are back. Okay, so this is um, the candles that are, are solidifying right now. So like I told you, I'm gonna wait until tomorrow uh, to start making a burn test with this. And hopefully, uh, let's see what happens. To be honest, I don't think there's gonna be any difference, but I just wanted to prove a point. You know, uh, this is something that I saw on, on the Facebook group, I don't, remember, I don't even remember which group was. You know, and I just wanted to show you guys. You know, it's it's good to uh, experiment and see for yourself whether it will work or not. It's like the same video that I made using coconut um, coconut oil um, when you add it to soy uh, four sixty four soy, and, and it makes them uh, give you a nice uh, tops. That does really work. I had a video on that, and that's my biggest uh, view video so far on my channel. And that test really was uh, a success, and I truly believe on that. If you are working with 464 wax, soy, soy 464, and you want a little bit of a uh, coconut, co coconut oil, you know, uh, the, the solidified coconut oil, uh, I think one teaspoon per per pound, I think it is. I don't, I don't remember. Watch the video, okay? So anyway, so I'm gonna wait for tomorrow, guys, and I will continue the test. Yes. Hi guys, welcome back. So today is the day after, and these are the beautiful candles that I made yesterday for you guys. These are the ones with salt, and this one uh, is the one without salt. Okay, so let's see how they look. The finish, look at how beautiful it looks. Soy bliss wax always delivers. Okay, so let's see as far as uh, CT, let's see. Oh my God. Persephone, Persephone, uh, this oil from 1617, guys. Okay, let's see. As far as CT, let's see how it's very strong CT. Beautiful. Okay, so I can tell you for sure that the CT is the same. I don't see any change, okay? I don't see one uh, smelling uh, stronger than the other one. To me, they smell the same. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna weigh this. And I'm gonna take notes of this. Both candles, because I wanna make sure that they have equal weight. So I'm having here my scale, 16.5 ounces. So let me just take a note of that. Now the other one, this one is 16.7 ounces. The one without the salt. So now I'm gonna light them up guys and I'm gonna put them in separate rooms because I wanna see if I get any HD, okay? So I'm gonna light them up and I'm gonna leave one in here and the other one on, on the bathroom next door. Ta-da! And the time right now, it's exactly 12 noon. 
and today is the uh, January 11. Let me just place them in separate rooms, guys, and I'll be right back in, a, in about a couple of hours, and I'm gonna uh, weigh them again on the scale, and we'll keep going doing the testing, okay, guys? Talk to you later. Yes! Hi, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> yes! Okay, guys, so it's been uh, two and a half hours, and the candles have been burning inside the uh, my candle studio here. Uh, first, I was thinking about putting them separate on separate rooms, but I decided, you know what, it wouldn't be fair if I uh, place them in separate rooms because the environment is going to be different. Maybe that's going to be a draft, so one candle will uh, burn faster than the other one. So I want them both to be on the same environment, on the same room. Uh, remember, I'm testing for the burn. I'm testing to see which one lasts longer. And the only way that I can be able to uh, find out is by uh, weighing uh, the candles. So the candles have been burning now for two and a half hours. So let's see how much they weigh. Remember the first one, the first candle. With my paper. The first candle, that's the candle with the salt, which is uh, the white one here. Uh, the original weight was 16.5 ounces. So let's see how much it weighs now. Let's see. I have in here the scale. Turn it on. Okay, let's see. Okay, 16.2 ounces. Perfect. So let me just make a note of that. Sixteen point two ounces in two and a half hours. Okay, perfect. The next one is the one without salt, the pink peony or the peony pink, whatever you want to call it. And okay, so let me tear this. Sixteen point three ounces. Okay, 16.3 ounces. Well, this is not the final. This is my, my calculation. This is my uh, my result. Okay, so if candle number one, which is a white one, the initial weight was 16.5 ounces, and in two and a half hours, it burned to 16.2 ounces. So it, that means that it burned uh, 0.3 ounces. The difference is... Uh, is 0.3 ounces in difference in two and a half hours. The pink candle, original weight was 16.7 ounces and the end weight after two and a half hours is 16.3 ounces. Okay, so that means that this burned 0.4 ounces on the same amount of time. Okay, guys, so According to this calculation that I made, guys, and according to my test, it does work. Okay, adding salt uh, make the last last longer. And you know what? I'm in shock. I cannot believe it. You know that after two and a half hours, yes. And I measure very well. This scale is very accurate. So the scale don't lie, guys. So yes, I'm in shock. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the video here, guys. So uh, so far, this is the. My results, after adding, and I added a half a teaspoon of uh, kosher salt. So this is what I use, guys. And even though the salt did not dissolve on the wax, somehow it is something to the wax that is making it last longer. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a wonderful HD. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to run an HD test on Saturday. So when I see you next Sunday on my live stream, guys, so Sunday's gonna be in. Let me see what day it's gonna be next Sunday. So I'm gonna be able to see you guys. So Sunday, uh, it's gonna be January 16 at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Okay, guys? So I'll see you on that day, on Sunday. Yeah! Okay, so let me just do a close up of the candles, guys. I'm not be I have not reached a full melt pool yet. Let me just bring you closer. Let me see if this works. So guys, this is the two beautiful candles. And remember, I use this beautiful oil from 1617.com for Stephanie. Okay? And this is the beautiful frosted glass now on uh, the West Coast uh, frosted glass from 1617.com. Okay? And they come with a, uh, with a bamboo lid. Both of them. I'm going to link everything below on the description box, guys. And I'll see you Sunday. 
Okay, don't forget, Sunday, January 16. Okay, guys, so I'll see you next Sunday, January 16, 2022, at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget to join me. I'm going to give you the result of the HD test, which I'm pretty sure is going to be amazing because I already smell, even though I was outside in the living room, you could add the, add the smell at the scent travel from the door to the whole house, okay? So it's beautiful, okay? And I'm gonna start working. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna start working on this video. I'm gonna be weaking this. I'm gonna be adding five weeks in here. I'm gonna follow 1617's video uh, that Vanessa and Tia put in together and her friend also, Vanessa's friend. And I'm gonna be making a five week candle. So it's gonna be, this is gonna be beautiful. So this one is gonna, I'm gonna make it either tomorrow or the day after. And I'll show you the video. Um, I'll upload the video when it's ready, okay guys? Okay guys, so thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Remember next Sunday, January 16th at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, I'm gonna give you the results for the HT test on this. But as you can tell, adding salt to the wax, it did help in saving, uh, in, making the uh, in making the candle last a little bit longer, okay? So, okay guys, so I'll see you next Sunday. Take care of yourself. I love you, bye. Yes! Yeah!